Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First things first, check it out. Finally, finally, finally. Couldn't get a haircut for I don't know how long. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at the second largest snowfall we've had so far this season. Um, we got about four inches. Uh, I left a little bit earlier than normal. I also, I finished earlier at IXL, the brick place because they're moving to a new location, so most of their stock has moved out of their yard. So I could just cruise with the skid steer, got it done way quicker than I expected. Moved on to the church, got them done quicker than I expected as well. Um, managed to look over and seeing the plow trucks were still going. It's in the daylight, it was perfect. So I got some footage of the plow trucks, finally. Something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I got footage of the plow trucks, uh, and the loader all working in the same parking lot. So I hope you guys enjoy this one um, This one's a little bit different. I'm not talking too much in this one except for the second half uh, Even then not so much. Anyways, let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy Good morning, it's uh, about four uh, five o'clock now Just getting ready to roll out of the yard here, and it snowed a good four inches last night So we got quite a bit. Not as much as last time, but it's definitely enough to go push. So I gotta go do IXL and the church and probably the storage facility. See when I get there. I guess we're, we're not going to see a whole lot of skid steer today. I know you guys have seen a lot of skid steer. This one's focused primarily on the trucks and loader. This is the last video that that old plow truck will be showing up that is working. Uh, that's right, we got <laughs> we got the blade is on the 2014. I am working on the video for that. Ezra and I were installing that. I think it was the day after or two days after we pushed this snowfall. 
it looks pretty good. It, it works good. Uh, no problems with that one. So keep an eye out for that video. <sighs> yes, like I said before, this truck is ugly, but it gets the job done. So where I'm standing filming this is that because I have one machine working on one side of me, one coming at me, and one going on the other side of me. It was a pretty bad place to stand, so I actually I chose to get to a little bit higher ground. But you get such a this is like a it's a triangle of snow removal death, and I'm standing in the middle of it. Fearless guys, fearless. <laughs> ground shot I like this this is cool I didn't have a drone so I did the next best thing Okay guys, from this vantage point, you're probably getting a pretty good idea of how big this parking lot is. The video's not doing it justice, but I think we're in between 15 and 20 acres of parking lot that we actually have to push. There's a couple other surrounding locations that they own that we have to clean as well. But this one parking lot, you can see how long the run is. They have quite the way to back up with the plow truck. That's also why we use the plow trucks a lot faster than using a loader or skid steer in this lot because it is so long. Um, also, you're getting a good vantage point of watching the truck push from one end of the parking lot all the way to the other into a row where our front end loader is actually pushing up into the pile I'm standing on. box of solitude I'm gonna actually I'm gonna switch with dad he's in the loader I'm gonna take the loader and he's gonna go grab the sander with my truck all right so I switched with dad uh, just finished up at the church I'm heading over to the storage facility now Orange cones in the snow on the lot 
that's where there are water main caps sticking up a couple inches and they will stop this machine dead that or you break the cutting edge off which we've done that a few times you either break the cutting edge off or you eat the windshield Either way, both are very unpleasant. I'm just cleaning up along the back of the buildings here. Both trucks are going down each individual row. And I gotta back up slow because both trucks are backing up towards me at the side. And there's a lot of blind spots in here. leaving the pile at this gate because guaranteed somebody will see the open gate and decide it's a good idea to drive through there have a close call like Ezra did last time where the man in the brown van didn't want to stop he didn't stop for me in the loader and he didn't stop for Ezra that's going to wrap up the video for today hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to know more information about bluegrass sod producers check out all the links in the description down below that's our facebook instagram website and as always take care god bless and i'll see you guys in the next one